What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, today I want to talk about our brother Chingy. Out of the loo! And we all know that he came out around um, this time when Ludacris and Disturbing the Peace was out, Nelly. And you know, Chingy was doing his thing, man. Chingy was all over the world doing shows and stuff like that, right? And recently, Chingy was voted one of the worst 50 rappers of all time, all right? Um, let me play this clip and then we'll come back about that. Chingy Yo, easily, Chingy, one of the Chingling. worst rappers. Why Chingy always mad about something? Look, the 50 worst rappers list came out a while back and I guess resurfaced. But in reality, when you think of the 50 worst rappers, Chingy's on the list. Chingy got eight on a record by Snoop. Old Snoop, not Young Hungry Snoop. You got eight on Holiday Inn by Snoop. Like, come on, what, 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 what we do right there? You thought that was lyrical acclaim. You thought you was getting lyrical acclaim from talking about how she do that with a butt, how she wiggles a butt. You don't get critical acclaim for that, Chingy. Just hold a, hold a L. Even on the one joint, what was the joint he had with Jason Weaver? I don't remember none of the lyrics. I don't remember the name of the song. But the biggest part of the song was that, oh, Jason Weaver from, from ATL and the smart guy is singing the hook. Or did he add uh, Rudy in the video? Like, man, come on. Come on, Chingy. Hold that L. It's over already. You wasn't rapping, rapping. And we knew you wasn't rapping, rapping. Just accept the fact that we know. Now, we, we really got to be real. Chingy sold a lot of albums. But if we really want to be real, why Chingy ended up on the 50 worst albums of all time? It was because of these photos he took with Sydney Starr. Now, who is Sydney Starr? Sydney Starr is a transgender woman all right and now th this particular person has gotten to fame for years for lying on people this person has gotten into love and hip-hop everything what well listen while at the same time trashing destroying Okay, destroying folk career. Now Darius McCreary, he's already crazy because he he was kissing on uh, Sydney Star, but that but that that didn't happen with Chingy. Chingy took some photos and she went and lied and said her and Chingy had a relationship. Chingy lost record deals due to transsexual rumors. All right, Chingy. Losing the money. You know what he never did? He never came out and said, you know what? These people are so and so. You know what? These people are this and that. Hey, I'm gonna tell you who who never helped, who else didn't come out and defend them? The LGBTQ community. They didn't come out when she came out. Not that I know of. Nobody came out and says, Chingy, we sorry. The transgender community didn't come out whoever else and tell Sydney, you know what, reprimand her. Nothing. That person ended up catapulting that person's career. And Chingy's career, he never released another album in the last 10 years. Decimated his career over a lot. Over a lot. Now we're talking about Chingy being one of the worst rappers of all time when we gonna be real Ch Th Th nelly chingy none of those dudes were considered lyricists that wasn't the kind of music st louis was putting out all right but we're not gonna act like you know what i'm saying chingy didn't have no no songs right there over there he's working with timberland and manny fresh and all that man <clears throat> listen he had his things popping And how many people have been ruined over a lie? Over a lie. Now we refer to this man 
as trash now. But I remember Chingy was was the truth. He wasn't no lyricist, but that ain't what he. That wasn't the kind of music Chingy did. Chingy did club music. And now we pretty much telling the man, you're one of the worst rappers of all time. And the reason why we're saying that is because of what happened with Sidney Starr. If he never, he never came out and had that picture of Sidney Starr, which was a picture probably didn't know who she was or who Sidney Starr was rather, it would be no problem. But now here's the situation that I want to talk about. What if Chingy would have, um, um, came out and said some real negative things about her in the gay community, something like that. It, it would have been more vicious. But literally, we let Chingy, his reputation, get ruined over nothing, over over a lie, over a lie. And you let her, that particular individual, career catapult. And Sydney Star said on Vlad TV, oh, you know, uh, I apologize to him for ruining his career. Uh, you, 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 well, you sure didn't give him no money. All the money you made, you start doing podcasts with Michael Blackston. You know? And, and, and it sucked to work hard like that to do all those things and again i know he has some beefs with people he has some beefs with ludicrous he has some beefs with nelly and stuff like that but chingy squashed that and and, and, and chingy i'm gonna be real no chingy ain't no uh lyricist nothing like that but to, to put chingy on that worst 50 rappers of all time the only reason why y'all doing that is because chingy got his career ruined by sydney star on a lot lost everything at least if you're gonna lose something well, R. Kelly lost his career. We, I can understand how that happened. It makes sense. I don't understand how it happened to Chingy. You know? And, and it's unfair. It seems like certain people can do whatever they want. And when they have the backing of whatever they want to do, you can, again, this is the, like I said, this is a Kanye sort of situation here that I feel. If Chingy comes after that person, Chingy's even in a worse position. He had to see it take the L. He had to take the L. And nobody, and, and, and the thing about it is this, what do you have now? You have this Hennessy Marie person who's going around pretending to be a woman. Then look, look at what's happening, exposing the man that she's dealing with that didn't know that she was a man born as a man. Okay. But then every time you see, you know, some person, let's say if they're getting checked like that and something violent happens against that particular individual, regardless if they told or not, Oh, you're going to hear all the outrage, you know, what well, Hennessy Marie is going out here, stripping in male stripping in strip clubs where people think that she's a, 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 a you know, a, a straight woman and Hennessy Marie was born a man. Nobody says nothing. But if somebody gets mad and want to do something to the individual, then all of a sudden here come the whole community out there and the rainbow flags and stuff. And it, it's, it needs to be more balanced. You shouldn't gay or straight. You shouldn't be able to ruin people's lives out there off a, off a lie. Just to try to say this person's gay when they're not and be able to capitalize on it. It's not right. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. I'm out.